problems on the nth order derivative if y is equal to 1 by 2x plus 3 then find y10 or y11 or yn so y is of the type ax plus b so if y is a 1 divided by ax plus b then yn is what minus 1 raised to n n factorial a raised to n ax plus b raised to n plus 1 so this 1 by twice x plus 3 is of this type so y is 1 by 2x plus 3 so yn is what minus 1 raised to n n factor a like this a a is now 2 2 raised to n and ax plus b is 2x plus 3 so 2x plus 3 raised to n plus 1 so this is yn now we have to find y10 so substitute n as 10 so minus 1 raised to 10 into 10 factorial 2 raised to 10 divided by 2x plus 3 raised to 11 the 10 plus 1 that is 11 and that is 2 uh, minus 1 raised to 10 the uh, even power of uh, n is 1 minus 1 is uh, plus 1 and our power is minus 1 so it is plus 1 minus 1 raised to 10 is plus 1 so 2 raised to 10 like here 2 raised to 10 it is 2 raised to 10 into 10 factory divided by 2x plus 3 raised to 11 so this is y10 2 raised right here 2 raised to 10 then 2 raised to 11 is same substitute here as uh, 11 so minus 1 raised to 11 into 11 factorial 2 raised to 11 by 6 plus 3 raised to 11 plus 1 means 12 and so uh, minus 1 raised to 11 is now minus so minus 2 raised to 11 into 11 factorial divided by 2x plus 3 raised to 12 this is y11 so next problem is why is why is uh, 2 raised to 3 is then find y12 y13 so if y is a raised to mx then yn is what m raised to n a raised to mx log a bracket raised to n so y is 2 raised to 3x so yn is 3 raised to n like this m m is now 3 so 3 raised to n a raised to mx that is 2 raised to 3x log a a is now 2 so log 2 bracket raised to n so this is yn and so y12 is what substitute n as 12 so y12 is 3 raised to 12 2 raised to 3x log 2 bracket raised to 12 similarly we have to find y13 then y13 is substitute n as 13 3 raised to 30 2 raised to 3x log 2 bracket raised to 30 so the third problem is y is log sine 4x minus 3 then find y10 y13 so we know that if y is sine ax plus b then yn is a raised to n sine ax plus b plus n phi by 2 so this is yn and therefore y is sine 4x minus 3 so yn is now a is 4 so 4 raised to n sine 4x minus 3 ax plus b means plus n phi by 2 and substitute n as 10 so we get y10 as 4 raised to 10 sine 4x minus 3 plus 10 phi by 2 10 pi by 2 is 5 pi. So similarly, if you find y13, y13 that is substitute n as 13, 4 raised to 13 sine 4 pi minus 3 plus 13 pi by 2. Here that is 13. So if y is uh, cos 3x plus 4, then find y9, y10. So write the formula for cos ax plus b. So if y is cos ax plus b, then y and h. Uh, a raised to n cos ax plus b plus n pi by 2. So by using that formula, find y10, y9, y9, y10. So next problem, this problem is for homework. The next problem, y is e raised to 3x cos 4x minus 5. Then find y10. So y is e raised to ax cos bx plus c. And if this is the formula, then yn is what? yn is x a square plus b square raised to n by 2 e raised to x cos bx plus c plus n tan inverse b by so this is the formula if y is e raised to x cos bx plus c then y n is this so what now y is e raised to 3x cos 4x minus 5 y is e raised to 3x cos 4x minus 5 so now a is 3 b is 4 and c is minus 5 so substitute we have a square plus b square so 3 square plus 4 square a is 3 and b is 4 raised to n by 2 e raised to 3x cos 4x minus 5 bx plus c means 4x minus 5 plus n tan inverse 
B is 4 and A is 3. So we have the answer uh, 3 square 9, 4 square 16, 9 and 16, 25 raised to n by 2, e raised to 3x cos 4x minus 5 plus n tan inverse 4 by 3. Substitute n as 10 because we have to find uh, suppose y 10. So y 10 is what? 25 raised to 10 by 2 means uh, 5 next day. e raised to 3x cos 4x minus 5 plus 10 n substitute n as 10 tan inverse 4 by 2. So this is the answer. Y 10 is what? 25 raised to 5 e raised to 3x cos 4x minus 5 plus 10 tan inverse 4 by 2. So similarly you can find y time. The next problem, y is e raised to 2x sin 2x plus 3. Then find y 8. So use the rule y is e raised to x sin bx plus c. Then y n is what? a square plus b square raised to n by 2 e raised to x sin bx plus c plus n tan inverse b by. So this is the formula. So now the problem is y is equal to e raised to 2x sin 2x plus 3. That is a is 2 and b is also 2. So y n is what? 2 square plus 2 square. a square plus b square. Let's do n by 2 sine sine 2x plus 3. Write this term e raised to write the term e raised to 2x here. It's missing here. e raised to 2x. Write this e raised to 2x at this place. Then write sine 2x plus 3 plus n tan inverse 2 by 2. Tan inverse b by a. b is 2, a is 2. And then next step is 8. 2 square 2 square 4 plus 4 is 8 a raised to n by 2 right here e raised to 2 x term e raised to 2 x term there is missing sin 2 x plus 3 plus n tan inverse 1 2 by 2 and tan inverse 1 is 5 by 4 next step 5 by 4 the tan inverse 1 is 5 by 4 because tan 5 by 4 is 1 so the answer is what 8 raised to n by 2 right e raised to 2 x next term e raised to 2 x sin 2 x plus 3 plus n pi by 4. And then put n is equal to 8 because we have to find y8. So y8 is what? 8 raised to 8 by 4 e raised to 2x, right? That term missing term e raised to 2x sin 2x plus 3 plus 8 pi by 4. So n is 8, 8 pi by 4. 8 pi by 4 is 2 pi. So 8 raised to 4, 8 by 2 means 8 raised to 4, right here term e raised to 2x sin 2x plus 3 plus uh, 2 pi. And sin theta plus 2 pi is sin theta. So sin 2x plus 2 pi is sin 2x plus 3 only. So 8 raised to 4 sin 2x plus 3. So y8 is what? E right here term, missing term that e raised to 2x. So y8 is what? 8 raised to 4 e raised to 2x sin 2x plus 3. So this is final answer. So next problem, find nth derivative of the following functions. So the functions are y is what? x raised to 4 divided by x minus 1 into x minus 2, y is equal to x square divided by x minus 1, x minus 2, similar to this problem, this problem. So there are six problems. Now we'll solve this fourth number of problems. y is equal to x square plus x divided by x cube minus 6x square plus 11x minus 6. So first, uh, reduce this function as an addition of partial fractions, sum of partial fractions. So we know the topic that integration by partial fractions. So we have to reduce this factor in the sum of partial fractions. So what is the procedure? First, uh, factorize the denominator. So what is the factorization of x cube minus 6x square plus 11x minus 6? So this is the synthetic division. By using synthetic division, the coefficient of x cube is 1. The coefficient of x square is minus 6. The coefficient of x is 11. And the constant coefficient is minus 6. So write the coefficient of x square, uh, x cube, x square, x and constant coefficient. Suppose the term x square is uh, absent in this, then write in the place of minus 6 as 0. Okay. So write the, if the coefficient, if suppose 11x is absent, then write 0 at this in place of 11. So write the coefficient of x cube, then x square, then x, and then constant. And then trial by trial and error method, find here number such that we have the 0 at this place. Suppose uh, try for 1, then if we, if we have 0, then we are through. But if we, if we, if we have non-zero quantity at this place, then try minus 1, then try 2, minus 2, 3, minus 3. 
so by trial and error method find the number at this place such that we have zero at this place so if you take one then for this example we have it is zero so write one as it is the multiplication of these two is what one one into one is one right at this place and minus six plus one becomes minus five then write multiplication of one and minus five at this place one and minus five is minus five and then 11 and minus 5 addition is 6 then uh, this 1 into 6 becomes 6 at this place and 6 and minus 6 becomes 0 so we have one, uh, for 1 we have 0 at this place so the factorization is what x minus this number if we have my for 0 at this place for minus 1 then first factor is x plus 1 so x minus this number so now in this problem x minus 1 is the first factor x minus this number into this into x square this into x square this factor x x minus 1 as the first factor then this into x square minus 5 into x plus 6 as the second factor and then the factorization of x square minus 5 x plus 6 is what x minus 2 x minus 2 because the multiplication of minus 2 and minus 3 is plus 6 and minus 2 and minus 3 become minus 5 so first factorize the denominator and then write a by x minus 1 plus b by x minus 2 plus c by x minus 3. Then x minus 1, x minus 2, x minus 3 as the LCM. a into x minus 2 into x minus 3, b into x minus 1 into x minus 3 plus c into x minus 1 into x minus 2. Then we have the equation x square plus x plus 1 is equal to a into x minus 2, x minus 3 plus b into x minus 1, x minus 3 plus c into x minus 1, x minus 2. Then put x is equal to the uh, uh, roots of these uh, brackets. So x minus 1 gives the root x is equal to 1. x minus 2 gives the root x is equal to 2. And x minus 3 gives the root x is equal to 3. So substitute the values 1, 2, 3. Okay. So substitute the root of these values, these brackets. So substitute x is equal to 1. We have the LHS is 3. <coughs> the RHS is what? A. This is 1 minus 2. It becomes minus 1. 1 minus 3 becomes minus 2. And 1 minus 1 is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. So coefficient of B and C are 0 if we substitute x is equal to 1. Coefficient of B and C are 0. And now we have this is the plus 2 multiplication. And so A is 3 by 2. Similarly, put x is equal to 2, the second root, the root of the second bracket. <laughs> so we have the uh, 2 square as 4 plus 2 plus 1 and 7 and the coefficient of a is now 0 and the coefficient of c is 0. That's 2 minus 2 is 0. And the coefficient of b is non zero only. So 2 minus 1 is 1 and 2 minus 3 is minus 1. So minus 1 into plus 1 becomes minus 1. So b becomes minus 7. And substitute x is equal to 3. So we have 3 square 9 plus 3 plus 1. And the coefficient of a is now 0. Coefficient of b is 0 because 3 minus 3 is 0. And the coefficient of c is 3 minus 1 is 2. And therefore, we have uh, C as 13 by 2. And so, Y is equal to substitute these values of A, B, C in this step, in this one. So, we, we have Y is equal to 3 by 2, value of A is 3 by 2, divided by X minus, value of B is minus 7, divided by X minus 2, and the value of C as 13 by 2, divided by X minus 3. And therefore, Y is equal to 3 by 2, 1 by X minus 1, minus 7, 1 by x minus 2, the value of this, plus 13 by 2, 1 by x minus 3, uh, 1 by x minus 3. And then y n, this is y now, this is y in the sum of partial fractions. So this is the partial fractions of this factor of y. Then y n, now use the rule, if y is 1 by ax plus b, then y n is what? Minus 1 raised to n, n factor n, a raised to n, ax plus b raised to n plus 1. So now 3 by 2 as it is and 1 by ax plus b rule. So use the 1 by ax plus b. a is 1 and uh, b is also, uh, b is minus 1. So 1 by ax plus b rule. So minus 1 raised to n this term. n factorial and a, a is 1 for this a is 1, 1 raised to n x minus 1 ax plus b means x minus 1 raised to n plus 1. 
minus 7 this constant again the same rule 1 by a x plus b a is 1 so minus 1 raised to n n factorial 1 raised to n a is 1 for this problem 1 by x minus 1 x minus 2 raised to n plus 1 this divided by 1 plus 13 by 2 again the same rule 1 by a x plus b a is 1 so the nth order derivative of 1 by x minus 3 is what minus 1 raised to n n factorial 1 raised to n because a is 1 x minus 3 raised to n plus 1. So use this rule. So yn is <coughs> 3 by 2 minus 1 raised to n. 1 raised to n is 1. So n factorial x minus 1 raised to n minus 1. N, n plus 1, not n minus 1. n plus 1. Then minus 7 minus 1 raised to n. n factorial again 1 raised to n is 1. x minus 2 raised to n plus 1. Plus 13 by 2 minus 1 raised to n n factorial x minus 3 raised to n plus 1. Similarly, the next problem is y is equal to x square plus 4x plus 1 divided by x2 plus 2x square minus x minus 2. Then find y. So again, we have to uh, convert this factor, y means this factor, as a sum of uh, partial fractions. So first factorize this denominator. So its factorization is x minus 1 into x plus 1 into x plus 2 by using simple division like this factorize the denominator and uh, use this procedure that is divided write a by uh, first bracket b by second bracket c by second bracket and find the values of a b c and so uh, by applying this procedure we have these are these as the uh, these are the uh, partial fractions some of partial fractions so it is converted to 1 by x minus 1 plus 1 by x plus 1 minus 1 by x plus 2 and then write yn so yn is what write 1 by a x plus b root so minus 1 raised to n into n factorial into 1 raised to n now a is 1 x minus 1 raised to n plus 1 similarly the nth order derivative of this function is what minus 1 raised to n n factorial 1 raised to n because a is 1 x plus 1 raised to n plus 1 similarly minus 1 raised to n n factorial x plus 2 raised to n plus 1 and then uh, we have this as the final answer or take minus 1 raised to n factorial minus 1 raised to n into n factorial as common we have this is the bracket so these are the problems on the nth order derivative so solve the remaining problems of this type so if you observe the first problem so right uh, we have to convert this x raised to 4 divided by x minus 1 into x minus 2 as a sum of partial fractions so for that con consider a it is equal to y is equal to this is equal to a by x minus 1 plus b by x minus 2 and then write uh, x minus 1 x minus 2 as lcm then a into x minus 2 plus b into x minus 1 and then we have the equation x raised to 4 is equal to a x minus 2 plus b x minus 1 then find the values of a and b then find uh, the conversion partial fractions same problem is here x square divided by x minus 1 x minus 2 actually this is the its partial fractions are what right 1 plus 1 plus a by x minus 1 plus b by x minus 2 because the degree of numerator and degree of denominator both are same so the partial fractions x square divided by x minus 1 into x minus 2 what are the partial fractions 1 plus a by x minus 1 plus b by x minus 2 so convert that and find the nth order derivative. So the derivative of one, nth order derivative of one is zero. <laughs> Similarly, the next problem, x by x plus two, twice x plus three. So what are the partial fractions? A by x plus two plus b by two x plus two, and then find the values of a e and b. So, um, for problem is solved already. Then x plus 1 divided by x square minus 4. So, the, it's a, uh, factorize x square minus 4 as x minus 2, x plus 2. And then write the partial fraction size a divided by x minus 2 plus b by x plus 2. Uh, six number problem. Solve this six number problem. Factorize this denominator. And then obtain the partial fractions and apply the rule 1 by x plus b. The derivative of 1 by x plus b is what? 
minus 1 raised to n, n factorial, a raised to n, ax plus b raised to n. So these are the some problems on the nth order derivative. These are the nine formulas uh, for nth order. So remember these nine formulas in order to find the nth order derivative of some standard functions. Okay. So in the next lecture, we will see the Leibniz theorem. So what is the use of Leibniz theorem? If you read the statement, if y is equal to u into v, where u and v are functions of x possessing the nth order derivative. So if y is u into v, then y and h, this n c 0, u and v, plus n c 1, u n minus 1, v 1, plus n c 2, u n minus 2, v 2, plus data dash n c n, u v. What is here? n c r, n factorial divided by n minus r factorial into r factorial. So y is u into v, then y n. So uh, this is the rule, uh, Leibniz theorem is the theorem to use the, if you have to find the nth order derivative of the multiplication of two functions, that is y is u into v, then y, y n. Uh, the uh, u into v rule, our 12th u into v rule is the particular case of this uh, theorem. That is if y is u into v, then y1 is what? u v1 plus v u1 v. Uh, suffix denote the, the derivative, okay? derivative, okay, u v dash plus v u dash. So that uh, u into v rule of the, our 12, that is the first order derivative of u into v is the particular case of Leibniz theorem. So if y is u into v, that is y is the multiplication of two functions, and if you have to find the nth order derivative of that function, u into v, then use the Leibniz theorem. So Leibniz theorem, what is the application of Leibniz theorem? is used to find the nth order derivative of u into v, the multiplication of two functions. And you had to find the nth order derivative, then we apply the Leibniz theorem. So we'll see the proof of this theorem in the next lecture.